to do a zigzag stitch, you adjust your um, stitch width regulator. And it really doesn't matter if I use the machine here or the line as a guide or not. But I'm going to demonstrate it where this, the stitch width is on one and the stitch length is on one because that's really um, tiny. And you guys can see it's still making a zigzag. Can you get really close, like right in the middle here? It's still making a zigzag, but it's just super small, okay? Now I'm gonna go up a little bit on my, maybe like to three. And you can tell that the width got a little bit larger. Now, if I go up to three on my stitch length, it's gonna actually go longer. So do you guys kind of see and understand how that is? On your um, test, it's gonna say, set your machine to do a wide zigzag. Well, that is going all the way up as high as it'll go on your stitch length and your width. And that's a wide zigzag. So that's what I will be looking for whenever I'm asking you about it. Um, if you ever tear a shirt, you guys know how like you, you tear a t-shirt or something, and you, and you wanted to repair the t-shirt, you can actually, we have that piece of fabric, you can actually do something that looks like a uh, embroidery stitch by um, setting your stitch width to three and your stitch length down to zero, or there's a little button on there that looks like a buttonhole, so it's really tiny. Um, but you can put another piece of fabric behind that hole and then stitch right over the top of your um, hole. And what it does is it, it looks like it's just blending the, the fabric back together. So you just kind of mend the hole. So do you guys see how that looks? It, it actually looks like an embroidery stitch. All right, that's it.